Hello, my name is Ian McCall. I'm one of the editors of the Skin Cancer College of Australia's Dermoscopy blog. What I want to do today is just to give you a quick run through the uh, blog, show you the various things it has to offer, and it will make it easier for you to uh, navigate your way through it. The major part of the blog is here. This is where the posts are. Each day, an author, a different author, will put up a post. There may be anything between one and three cases. You're able to uh, enlarge all the images here, look at the uh, cases, and then we invite you to make your comments. To make a comment, you click on the comment section. A small box will come up like this with uh, everyone else's comments up to date uh, on them. Um, but what we'd uh, prefer you to do is just to click jump to the comment form and put your comment in there without looking at everyone else's. What that does is it teaches you to um, give your own views, your own opinions. Um, you'll note that uh, part of our um, ethos for the blog is this little bit at the top here. Our motto, there are no wrong answers, only different opinions. Um, it's, there's nothing wrong with uh, getting a wrong answer or having a different opinion. Um, it's good for teaching, it's good for learning to, in fact, commit yourself and uh, see how you go. No one really cares. It's really just for you to, um, to see how well you, in fact, do and to get your eye in these things. So, those are the cases. That's how you put up uh, your opinion, and we'd look forward to you um, voicing your opinion on some of the new cases we'll have uh, in 2011. Now, down this side, you have all the authors of the blog. There are about 10 active authors at the moment. Here we've listed all previous authors as well. We rotate authors a bit. Everyone uh, needs a bit of time off, and so we, uh, we give them time off when they want. If you're um, if you've got a lot of good cases yourself, if you take a lot of photographs, if you'd like to be an author and you can commit yourself to uh, uh, one day every two weeks, then uh, by all means get in touch with me. Now, as well as this, some new things we've put in here, recently there's this little section here which has the most popular posts. Uh, I think it's in the last month. It's just done an analysis of the number of people that uh, actually respond to uh, to a case. So it can be useful just to go back and see the ones that uh, have attracted most um, most responses in that time. Um, there's a series of links uh, on the blog. You can see there's uh, a variety of other things that may be of interest to you. The Demoscopy Atlas is particularly good if you'd like to look at, uh, at that. You just click on the uh, link and uh, it'll take you to the to the Atlas. There's a whole variety of cases uh, in here. You can always click and look at the recent submissions, and you just click on a particular uh, case to be uh, taken to it. But uh, and it's present the, the atlas presents in this particular way. So it's another excellent resource. Each of these will enlarge. It's another excellent resource that uh, we provide, and you can access it through the. Um, through the blog uh, link itself. Now let's just try and flick back to uh, the beginning again. Oops, a little bit too far. That'll teach me when you're doing these things live, you've got to do it properly. Now, next thing to show you that uh, might, you might find valuable. Down this side, you can access a variety of resources. There's uh, Harold's algorithm in poster form uh, and in workbook form. The poster form was done by Cliff Rosendahl. And if you uh, click here, it'll take you to um, a resource where you can click on the particular um, reference that you, in fact, want, whether it's uh, Jean-Yves uh, condensation of various comments that uh, Harold made uh, over a period of two years, um, which I find very, very good. There's a short version here of the long version. There's uh, Cliff's uh, posters, and uh, there's also access to the Blink um, algorithm of uh, Peter Bone, which is very, very useful in um, 
coordinating patient factors with dermatoscopic features in deciding whether a lesion needs uh, excise. There's also a few other articles in there that uh, may be of reference, uh, may be of value to just click on them to download them. Now, as well as that, there's a couple, I've mentioned Peter's Blink resource. There's another resource I have there, uh, which is just a table or a tabulated form of uh, many of the dermatoscopic features that uh, that we see. Uh, you just click here to download it. God bless my uh, system, takes a little while. There we go. And the various features that uh, are used in uh, Kitlerian terminology uh, have the uh, the conditions in which these features are found. I find it quite useful when I'm analysing a uh, lesion just to remind me what the other potential causes are of those particular features that I might be seeing within the, uh, the lesion itself. So that's available if you want to use it. What else can I show you? The other thing that's important um, down this side, you can see that the blog started in 2005, and you can access all the old posts in terms of the years. Just quietly work your way through them. I think there's about 1,850 there now. Um, otherwise, if you want to um, locate particular conditions or particular lesions, you can simply go to the uh, the label section here on the right hand side, click on anything that you uh, takes your interest and it will automatically take you to the, um, let's see, BCCs and seborrheic keratosis. It'll take you to the four cases that we've got that in fact show that feature. Often there's more than one case presented in a, in, in a particular post, so you've got to flick your way down and find the, uh, the lesion that you're in fact looking for. There's a BCC in association with a SEBK, or at least uh, next to a seborrheic keratosis. So if we just go back to the beginning again, I want to show you some of the more recent things that we've introduced uh, to the blog. You can see here there's a series of resource areas um, at the top. These are called pages within the blog. You can click on any of these and um, it will take you to uh, a page that will show you these other resources. These are the video blogs that we've uh, done. Um, initially we used to uh, try and do a weekly summary of all the cases that were presented but that really took too much time. So what we've subsequently been doing is to look at a particularly good case that's been presented, uh, something that's been a bit original, a bit unusual, and done um, uh, a video on that uh, with discussion. So you just click on that to access it. And here, if you really have nothing better to do and you want an hour spent listening to Jeff Keir and I uh, with Norman Swan and uh, the head of the um, skin, uh, the head of the uh, Cancer Foundation and a, a, a very intelligent uh, uh, skin cancer nurse chat about skin cancer, then you can click on this link and you can uh, listen to that particular broadcast. Um, there's another thing here on important downloads. Uh, if you're interested in a, the Dermoscopy Diploma, you can click on this particular link and it'll take you to the, uh, a link here that'll take you to the SCANS website um, where you can register for the Dermoscopy Diploma, the next one starting in June um, this year. If you're interested in dermatology, then if you click on this link, it will uh, take you to, uh, and click here, it'll take you to the website to allow you to register for the Australian Institute of Dermatology Diploma, which I in fact run over a 28 week period, but we're about to start it uh, on the 5th of February uh, this year for, I think it's either the third or the fourth year we're doing it. Um, we have about 40 to 50 people who will be who'll taking it. Uh, journal, important journal articles that come along, mainly related to dermoscopy, you'll find in this section here. The SCANS conference, uh, which is held, I think this year it's going to be, I think, from about the 30th of May uh, through to the 3rd or 4th of June um, on the Gold Coast. 
you'll get your link to that in there. It's going to be a very, very good conference with a variety of um, uh, material that you can uh, elect to go to. Um, the first two sections of our new diploma in skin cancer medicine and surgery will be uh, organized there as well. This, if you click on this link, it will tell you a little bit about that. And if you click here on YouTube blog videos, this will take you to the new um, section that we've set up uh, where, now if it just loads here, we'll see where I've spent part of this Christmas holidays just doing a whole series of videos on uh, the various uh, aspects of Kitlerian dermatology, uh, dermoscopy um, to see the, the full list you would in fact click on this section here to start it and you'll see the various um, videos that are there come up at the base and you click on them there I'll just pause that, you don't want to listen to me talking about that, but you can just click along here, see which video you want to uh, listen to and just click on it and up it will come. To make it high definition, you go to this little line here, go up to 1080, click on that and click on this section here with the arrows going out. This will then make it full screen and high definition and if you've got a good enough connection, you'll be able to uh, see it in all its glorious detail. This is the, the first section of videos here is on the uh, dermatoscopic uh, structures. The second set of videos down here are on um, the various uh, clinical conditions, lenticular maligna, melanotic melanoma, uh, ink spot lentigo, etc., etc. Each of them lasts somewhere between 7 and about uh, 12 or 13 minutes. And I think you'll find them quite interesting. So if we just go up again, the last little thing that we've got is this little section here, which um, if it will just list any new videos that have been added. And again, you just click on one of these to uh, enlarge it and make it play. Uh, it will come up. And if you then double click on it up here, it can then go uh, full screen again. So it's just another way of looking at the... <laughs> you don't want to listen to that either. Um, clicking it to knock it down. So these are a few new things that we've added to um, the blog for next year. We'll see how they pan out. But remember, these are just um, little ornaments, little additions. The guts of it all is uh, in the the major part of the, the blog itself is in the cases, the hard work that uh, our editors do um, each day in presenting the best of the material that they've had in their practices in the preceding two weeks. And so what you're getting is the accumulated best cases from 10 um, very experienced demoscopists. Uh, and I think it's a great resource. I hope you enjoy using it and I hope you take advantage of some of the other uh, facilities we've made available. Thank you very much.